a woman levitating in a train, another holding her husband on a leash, or a man getting a huge truck tire in the face. Sit back and relax. What you are about to see today is a once-in-a-lifetime experience. In China, a young woman acrobat by profession had boarded a train to go to Shanghai to perform in a circus. And since she had a very special act, she decided not to waste any time and to start training on the train itself. So, she tied her hair around the support bar and hung by her hair over the void. The goal was to hold this position as long as possible, a very perilous act very difficult to do, which should not be done by a non-professional. During this time, she simply took out her phone and started to tap on it, while she seemed to be in levitation, with her legs crossed. The passengers on the train were shocked to see such a spectacle before their eyes. The acrobat, who is of Russian origin and answers to the name Darina, had been training for six months to do this incredible and dangerous performance. She was so successful that all the passengers started to film her. Originally designed in China, it is traditionally performed with the hair wrapped around a ring and the performer is then suspended or swayed while performing other tricks. Darina's scalp must have been pretty sore by the time she got to the finish line since the train's shocks were not very gentle. But in the end, that's exactly what she wanted, to be able to test her stamina, even on uneven ground. It is sure that like that, she will have pushed her capacities to the extreme. Are you interested in becoming a fisherman? You would like so much to be able to practice it, to live in the middle of the sea, to be in permanent contact with the marine world and the marine creatures. It is great, at least on the surface. Come, I show you the hidden side of this job. To do this, you just have to see what goes on inside the hull of a boat. When everything is going well, everything seems to be going great. You can take it easy. But as it is rarely good in the middle of the sea, and very often you could be caught in the meshes of a violent storm, this is what you will experience all day long. You'll be rocking from one part of the ship to another. You'll spend your time sliding, being caught in the weightlessness, trying to keep your balance, not to mention the inconveniences it causes. Knee aches, headaches, migraines, head banging, ankle twisting. Are you sure this is what you want to do for a living? Ah, I was sure. You changed your mind quickly. That's normal. That's the submerged part of the iceberg, and I bet no one has ever told you about it. Now you know, the life of a sailor is not easy. So forget about the pseudo life of adventurers who live in the middle of the ocean, who eat fresh fish, and who spend their day chugging cans of beer. The truth is much more rough and painful above all. In 2017, a car was driving down a Connecticut Boulevard. Its driver needed to get home after a long day at work, when suddenly, he, along with other cars, were caught and trapped by high winds. Heavy storms were attacking West Suffield, bringing with them heavy rain, lightning, gusty winds, and even hail, leaving a trail of destruction in its wake. The driver of the car wanted to get to his house as soon as possible and get to safety, but he was trapped by the storm. While the other cars were immobilized, the driver was brutally hit by the violent winds of almost 100 kilometers an hour. Since his vehicle was relatively light, he was so violently attacked that his car flew in the air, and while coming down to earth, it hit an electric wire and remained half suspended in a vertical position, the two front wheels stuck in the wires. An unbelievable and unheard of scene that shocked the other motorists. The driver did not understand what happened to him. He was stunned by what he had just experienced. Even if he certainly got out of it safe and sound, he will never forget this day of his life. In these pictures, a driver was driving on a highway when suddenly he was taken by an irresistible urge to sleep. To avoid the risk of an accident, our driver stopped on the side of the highway to get some fresh air. But while he was taking a breather and looking at the horizon, a huge truck tire came at him out of nowhere and hit him very hard. The impact was so brutal that the door of the vehicle, which was open, was twisted in the other direction, and the man suddenly collapsed on the ground. Looking at a tire, one would think that rubber does not hurt very much, but on the contrary. The tire, coming at a very high speed, crashed into the man, which had the effect of a huge bowling ball. And since the driver didn't see it coming, he didn't have time to avoid it and was thus cut short. He then literally collapsed to the ground and lost consciousness. Fortunately, he was saved by the rescue workers who were quick to come. It looks like that day, he was predestined to have an accident in any case. In 2021, a couple living in Florida in an old house decided to redo the walls of their bathroom because for some time, they had been hearing a strange noise behind the tiles, a kind of incessant buzzing. Stephanie and Don Graham called a beekeeper, Alicia Bixler, 
a social media star who often responds to emergencies and then posts the videos on her TikTok account. When Alicia removed the tile from her shower, the couple was shocked by what they discovered. A huge hive was built behind it, housing an impressive colony of 80,000 bees, hence the buzzing. An unheard of and improbable scene. The hive was more than 2 meters long and contained a large quantity of honey. The beekeeper, who used to remove wild hives from houses, decided to take the bees with her and bring them to her farm. In total, more than 45 kilos of honey were extracted from behind the shower stall. The couple was shocked to discover that they were showering with 80,000 bees every day. Luckily, they thought to do something about it. They are especially happy that they were never stung by one of them. In India, some villagers woke up one day thinking they were having an ordinary day. But nature and the mountains that surrounded their village decided otherwise. While they were working, a huge avalanche of stones and rocks was unleashed from the top of the mountain. The stones rolled and ended up at the foot of the mountain, creating huge dust trails. The worst thing is that some rocks, bigger than others, fell on the bridge that was built above the lake like missiles. After being hit several times, the bridge finally broke and was destroyed in a few seconds. A terrifying moment for these villagers who really thought they were doomed. In the end, the avalanche fortunately stopped after a few minutes, but unfortunately, it did too much damage. They will certainly have to rebuild another, more solid one in case the mountain gets angry again. This young bride was in the company of her husband. Both of them in front of the cameras and the guests were cutting the famous cake, a moment that was supposed to be very emotional. The groom opened the ball and gave his wife a spoonful. And when it was the wife's turn, she had the idea to tease her darling. She took a spoonful of the cake, pretended to feed her husband. Then when it was time to open her mouth, the wife withdrew the spoon. She repeated this several times, which annoyed our groom. When this was the time of the excess, the enraged groom hit his wife violently on the hand to the point where she had to drop the spoon abruptly. The poor woman had to swallow her smile because she didn't expect this reaction, which didn't bode well. Everyone was very shocked. Finally, the husband ate the famous bite of cake while the wife kept a very bitter taste. In Morocco, a street soup vendor had prepared a huge pot of soup to sell at the Sunday market. To get it to the center of the market, he had to carry it in his car. Except that in Morocco, sometimes the roads are full of deep holes, making them impassable and driving almost impossible. The salesman had taken his pot in the car but had forgotten to sell it. As a result, driving a little too fast over a huge hole, the pot spilled. Guess what happened next? The entire pot of hot soup spilled into the car, flooding the car. The driver had to make an emergency stop in the middle of the road to get rid of all the soup because the car was really full. It is not unlikely that he was scalded. At one point, the situation was so hilarious that several people came to his aid. The soup, unfortunately, ended up in the asphalt, but at least he managed to fill the hole. In January 2021, one evening around 9 p.m. in the Sherbrooke district, while a police patrol was going around the neighborhood to tell people to go home, a couple was strutting down the street offering pedestrians a bewildering, hilarious, and unusual show. The woman was strolling the street, bag in hand, holding in the other a leash. But be careful, at the end of the leash there was no dog nor cat. Even more incredible, there was her husband on all fours who was following her. The husband was dressed in a shirt and suit pants. The Quebec couple had put into place a strategy to circumvent the curfew that was still in effect in this province of Quebec. To escape it, Madame did not think of being discreet, quite the contrary. She simply tried to take advantage of the only possible exemption, namely the permission to walk her dog beyond the curfew hour, except that she didn't have a dog, so she had to either buy one or pretend to have one, even if it meant facing the biggest shame in the world. Luckily, ridicule doesn't kill, or the couple would have been dead long ago. Unfortunately, while she thought she could escape the curfew fine, the young woman from Quebec ended up with a fine of 1,000 Canadian dollars, about 650 euros. The fake dog was also fined. Finally, they will not only have been fined, but also they will have been the laughingstock of the whole web since their video is still running on the networks. This young woman was beautifully dressed and prepared for a nice photo shoot that day while she was on a tropical island paradise. 
She wanted to take beautiful vacation photos, much like the ones you find in magazines. But apparently, the wind was not at all of this opinion that day, or rather, it was not in the mood. Because every time the young woman was getting in position to have the famous sexy shot to send to her friends, the wind was blowing hard, so hard that her dress was rising. At first, the girl laughed and found the thing funny, especially since it happened several times as if the wind was doing it on purpose. Except that at one point, the wind ended up blowing so hard that her whole dress went up and the girl ended up half naked. A hilarious yet terrifying moment for her since she wasn't expecting such a blast of air. Well, she probably had to take some good shots, but the least we can say is that they will be memorable. So what do you think of these hilarious and incredible sequences? Tell us in the comments which one you like the most. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a blue thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the bell to get all of the notifications and not miss out on any of our upcoming content.